Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a week. Starting off Monday morning, I'm drinking some apple cider vinegar, lemon, and hot water. This helps my digestive system a ton. And recently, I have been eating lunch as my first meal of the day, so I'm having a pretty big salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, pickled onions. I'm adding a little bit of rice to Lev's, and then I'm making a little bit of a dressing and popping that on top of both, and then grilling up some salmon. And this has been one of my favorite lunches it's super filling and tastes amazing and for dinner I decided to make a taco bowl with some ground turkey beans tomatoes guac and I love it it's so tasty and then I made some chia seed pudding and I'm topping them on top of these Gigi crackers adding some banana and honey for dessert for Tuesday's lunch, I made a really yummy cauliflower red bell pepper tahini salad. It's been one of my go-to meals. We found the recipe in a cookbook that we bought over quarantine and we fell in love with it and I just popped it on a bed of arugula. I also want to mention that I'm drinking about three liters of water a day in between all of my meals, so that's really key. And I wasn't feeling that great for dinner, so I made something really quick and easy, carrots, peppers, and chicken. And then for dessert, I had watermelon and trail mix. Wednesday's lunch is my all-time favorite shrimp tacos. You cannot go wrong. In the middle of the day, I decided to have a coffee, which I normally don't drink coffee. This is like a super rare thing for me, but I was in the mood for something sweet. So I just topped it with a little bit of cinnamon and stevia and added some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And this really picked me up. It was amazing and I loved it. For dinner, I was feeling something Italian. So I decided to make some zucchini noodles. We have this little machine that makes the perfect zucchini noodles. And and I made a little tomato sauce. I added some vegan cheese to it, which was actually surprisingly very, very good. For dessert, I had some apples with cinnamon, trail mix, and a little bit of sweet and spicy tea. Thursday morning, I decided to make myself a matcha latte, which is so, so good. I just added some water, whisked it up. I added a little stevia to it and then added some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is the bomb and I feel like just makes my morning a little bit brighter. For lunch, I had a turkey sandwich and I sometimes forget how underrated turkey sandwiches are. I just added some mustard, turkey, I think I added tomatoes. I'm trying to see what else I add. I completely forgot. Avocado. Can't go wrong with avocado. I think that's all that I added. Yeah, it looks like that's all that I added. And carrots, because I also am addicted to carrots, guys. I get through bags of them a day. For snack, I had some vegetables with a little bit of salad dressing. This was an incredible dinner. My dad got some fresh tuna as well as crab cakes. When my dad cooks, there is just literally nothing better. And it was fun. This was a family dinner. Everyone was home. We got to enjoy it. And then for dessert, I just had some fresh berries and and I think other fruits probably. Friday for lunch, I was in the mood for some soup. So I actually boiled some chicken as well as onions in a big pot for a while. I drained everything and then I used the onions to go inside the soup and then I also shred up the chicken. So as you can see, I'm just chopping up the onions to go into the soup later. I'm sauteing some raw onions and garlic as well as carrots, zucchini, mushrooms, everything that I would want. And then I put the broth that I cooked the chicken in as well as the shredded chicken. I just mix it all up. This is one of the best, easiest soups. You can even freeze this. I added some spinach on top. This is the best. I make big portions so that I can eat it later throughout the week, but this is one of my favorite soups ever and feels like a warm hug. I had zero clue what I wanted to make for dinner, but I went with one of my favorite recipes that again, that we found from this cookbook. I'll link it down in the description, but it's this chili carrot cinnamon salad i don't know it's crazy but i just added some chicken tomatoes avocado as well as the roasted carrots and it tasted amazing i actually had it for lunch again today and then i finished the night off with some cherries 